I got an idea. I've been thinking now for a while, something to do, something to put online, something to, something to help people. I love seeing the joy in the people's faces that they get when they get some help from someone. And I think we all should help someone, like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> like, why do we hold information ourselves? Like, um, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to get on top of one another, push other people down, but ultimately we're all here to enjoy life and do something and have fun and, and do what you love to do. Um, but that's so nice. So yeah, I want to help people. I've always think we go through the year, every year we go through life, it tends to be the same shit every year. And the thing is, you know, when you catch up with people, you want to go, so what have you been up to? And you're like, oh, no, not much, really, not much. Oh, what about you, bro? You know, oh, no, not much. But really, you want to, why not? So actually, I've been doing this, and I've been doing that, and having you know, having fun doing stuff, particularly with your family or with your friends or loved ones, whoever. I want to put something together that helps others at the same time enjoying why you enjoy your life. An example is once a month, do something that's completely new to you, that you've never done before, um, that you thought that'd be pretty cool, but sort of keep putting off for some sort of a reason. And so once a month, so 12 times a year, you do something completely different. And it doesn't have to be expensive. It could be simple as, it's going to a beach that you've never been to before, or going to a park that you've never been to before, or even going to a mountain that you've never been to before. So it can be that easy, it doesn't have to cost you anything. You can pack a lunch, um, take a picnic, take a blanket, um, take a frisbee even, just go and just go hang out, you know, take, I don't know, take a scooter or whatever you want to do. It can be that easy, you know, as simple as creating that. Or it can be as extravagant as you want, like go to an um, overseas location that you've never been to before or go and do a bungee jump, you've never done something before. So you've got to have fun, like do something that you've actually thought, that's fun, I want to do that, that's cool shit, you know, something you can be thinking about. It could be, you want to go do cooking lessons. Just do something different. Don't do that. We still going? We're still going, okay, here we go. Because life's all about enjoying what you can, when you can. Because as we all know, life is, I guess it's not the shortest thing in the world, but it's pretty short, right? Like, yeah, how many times have you heard of friends that have something's happened to them and they've just, you know, they've either something drastic's happened to them or there's a situations happened to them that sort of put them in a position that they can't do things that they've always wanted to do. Why wait? Oh, I'm out of focus. Why not? Is that on that? Is that on autofocus? Is that focusing? Let's try that again. So, yeah, why wait? Like, they say life's too short, right? And for some people, 80 years ain't, <laughs> it's not short, you know what I mean? But then there's the other side of it, there's the other scale of it as well. The, the people that don't get to see their full life out. Like I heard a story the other day, someone's friend passed away rafting. And the worst thing is, is that parents had to put them, you know, burying them as well. So I don't want to get all deep on it, but what I'm trying to say is that, fuck, you don't know how long you're here for, right? So why not do shit that you enjoy and do shit that you, th it, it, like I say, it just could be anything as simple as going to a cooking lesson or learning to play the guitar or going and seeing a friend that you've been putting up for so long or someone says, bro, do you want to go have a beer? Well, like, actually, yeah, I do. I do want to go and have a beer. I do want to hang out with you. Or um, you want to learn painting or you want to go have a gangster trip somewhere or you want to go on a crazy shopping spree. So that might be one you save up every month. You know, I go, you know what? I'm gonna spoil myself one month. One month I'm gonna spoil myself. So what you need to do is get a calendar. And then what you're gonna do is draw up, a, so you could do maybe three, you could even plan, you don't have to do the whole year in advance. You can do maybe plan it for three months. And if you've got family, if you've got partners, if you've got friends that you wanna get involved or um, mums, dads, whatever you wanna do, just get, them, get anybody involved. Well, just do it yourself, that's cool. So what I'm going to do is get my family and we're going to get together and sit down as a team and we're going to create um, a plan, like a monthly panel. And then there's going to have, they're going to have what they want to do and maybe we put it in a hat and a bucket and we pull out, pull out one that one there. One thing I really want to do, is, I reckon it would be a lot of fun, would be 
um, having once a month um, having a theme night so for example like a country so the cool thing about it is like on maybe on a Saturday or Sunday we all get dressed up we pull out a theme I uh, pull out a country sorry and we all get dressed up for that for that country of that theme for example if it's Japanese right you have uh, we all get dressed up in Japanese and we have some Japanese dinner food put that um, make the house all sort of really decorated or imagine it being like a, a Mexican night, right? So we're wearing sombreros, Mexican wearing sombreros, well, you know, like uh, do the Sanchez moustaches, uh, having fun with it, you know, and having Mexican food and mum and dad drinking Mexican beer and it's just, but then also at the same time is that the kids are learning about that country as well, right? So understanding what their culture's about, understanding what the kind of food they have, where it is on the map, what kind of language do they speak. is we want to teach our kids about different cultures and about diversity as well we can't we can never understand um, other cultures if we don't take on board what other people get up to so learning about another country or learning about another culture helps us understand what they go through for example we can't point fingers and say oh look at the crazy shit that they do when people probably look at us for example and say Hongi why you know like think Hongi is crazy right but to us it's it's normal, right? Like to a lot of people, it's hung is normal. But understanding, first of all, the first thing to get over you know, the differences or understanding somebody is getting to know them or getting to know their background or their cultures or everything else, learning about what they're all about. And so that's the way we're going to sort of get around things like racism or not knowing other people's um, backgrounds or cultures is because we don't know about it. So we start finger pointing and we start saying, oh, that's crazy, some crazy dumb ass shit. It's going to teach our kids, right? So then, like we live, particularly in New Zealand, we live like in a fruit bowl of, of different cultures on, and, and um, ethnicities and, and everything else. So understanding and getting involved in these different cultures is going to help, particularly our kids growing up and seeing other people from what, who they are and what their backgrounds are. So there's no way they can judge anybody or because they actually understand what they've gone through and what they're all about. And then what we're trying to do is then document, you know, like maybe go out and show her what the kind of food that we're going to get and how we're cooking it and what we're trying to do and at the same time we probably don't even know too much about it but we're going to learn along the way like we don't I don't know too much about um, for example French food I have no idea or it's going to be fun and exciting to learn all about the different cultures so as a family you know it's going to be something we're going to have a bit of fun with they're going to probably look like clowns but they, but that's all right at least once a month or at least one time this year we're trying to do that but it's just learning and understanding about about ourselves, about other people, and about other cultures. So um, I'd love to hear your story as well, and what you get up to. I mean, give, up, give me some ideas, give our family some ideas, and we'll try and take you along our journey and let you know some, give you some ideas. And yeah, just get involved, get amongst it, and post it up, and share with your friends, and make it contagious. And we should need to create a hashtag. I don't know what the hashtag is that we could create, that we can all just click on and then just sort of follow it. You know, just um, yeah. my my thoughts is try something new. Um, but if you've got any ideas, um, put them down in the, uh, in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your ideas. Um, and let me know if you'd be interested, something you'd love to do. I'd love to hear if you're going to be interested or, yeah, and if you'd like to be involved with it. Um, and the thing is, it doesn't have to be just once a month. It's up to you how many times you want to do it. But it should be a minimum of 12 times a year, like once a month. If you can, let me know. Like, like I say, put, so put a comment in there in the comments below. I'm going to try and create a website as well. That would be, be my ultimate dream is create a cool website giving people tips and ideas of, of where to go and then a whole lot of information about it or cooking lessons. You know, love to hear your thoughts. Put some comments below. Um, tell me if you're keen and if you're in. Um, yeah, and let's make it happen. Yeah.